Hi, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4, and welcome to my channel. Alright y'all, today we are going to do some faux little patriotic desserts. So, I am so excited for today's video. Um, now, those of you that craft with me regularly, you know, I craft as close to live as you can get without actually being live. So, everything we're making in today's video, we're doing it right now. Like, as I'm filming this, I am doing it right now with you. So, everything in today's video is from Dollar Tree. Everything's on a budget, it's super cute, super easy, and very inexpensive. So, basically, cute and cheap. <laughs> the best! <laughs> so, as always, I am going to adjust the camera. That way you can see exactly what we're going to do. So, okay. Alright, I have one of these little mason jars from Dollar Tree. This is like the salt and pepper size that they have. This little mason jar. I've got some Crayola Model Magic in red and blue. They were out of white, but you could also use Play-Doh. So I have um, red and blue. And then I'm going to take some spackling from Dollar Tree. This is the lightweight spackling in like the tools automotive section. And I'm going to do a little bit of white paint. So, we are going to try to make like a patriotic ice cream sundae. <laughs> Hopefully this is going to turn out right. Alright, so I'm going to get my spackling for the white. Alright, I got a little bow right here. I'll put this in here. <laughs> I don't know if this is really old, but it's very crumbly. Yeah, this may not work for what I wanted. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit of white paint to this spackling. Alright, do it a little bit at a time. You can always add more. Alright, I'm going to mix this in here really well. All right. A little bit more. Y'all, <laughs> I'm one of the messiest painters. I don't know how other people do it. I get paint everywhere. I was hoping to like make some frosting with this too, but I don't think that's gonna work. All right, I'm gonna take some of this red. All right, so I'm gonna rip me off some. I think I'm gonna kind of like wad it into a ball. Kind of roll it into a ball maybe. Push it down in there. All right, now I want it to start filling up around the little mason jar. Yeah, you can just stick your finger down in there and kind of like press it against the side. All right, so there's our red. Now I'm gonna take this white and hopefully get the white layer. I'm gonna get a little bit on my little like popsicle stick here. And I'm just gonna put that right down in there to the side. All right, I'm gonna put this right down in here. A little bit more, just kinda get that right down in there. All right, kinda get my white in there, kinda pushed around once again onto the sides. So I am gonna take a napkin Every time I just kind of go around and clean up the sides, like the edges. Kind of get off any of that excess white that I don't need. I wish I could have found this in white. All right, it wipes up really easy though. I'm just trying to clean up the glass. That way you can see my blue. All right, yeah, like that. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna take the blue. Kind of rip off a good chunk of it. Once again, um, I guess I'm gonna kind of roll it into a ball. All right, I'm gonna push this down, right down in here. And then once again, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna push it around, all the way around onto the sides. See, just like that. I'm just kind of working it and pushing that dough into the sides of our little mason jar. A little bit more kind of down in there. Yes, oh, do you see that? Do you see that forming? Okay, 
Once again, I'm just taking my finger and just kind of molding it and pushing it against the side for us. All right, look at that. <laughs> All right, that worked. All right, I have another one. I'm gonna see if this one's any better. All right, this one's a little bit better. So I'm gonna try putting some of this into here one more time. All right, I'm gonna try adding white paint to this again. Mix this together really well. Okay, I think that first one just, it was bad. Like it was very crumbly. This one is a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna mix this into here, this white paint, mix it in really good. And we're gonna attempt to make some, <laughs> some whipped cream. I'm not always the best at this part, y'all, but I try. All right, yeah, that is so much better. It's kind of creamy. All right, so I've never tried this before either. Yeah, we're doing a lot of firsts today. Those disposable icing bags from Dollar Tree. This is like in the party section. And then the nozzles that go with it. I thought we were <laughs> We would try. <laughs> we would try this for putting on some icing. So, Let's try this right here. All right, so we're gonna take one of these little tips right here. I have no idea which one is the best. All right, <laughs> we're just gonna do this. Go maybe this one. All right, so I think you're supposed to stick it down in here first. Okay, so you get it there. You push it down all the way, and you're gonna cut off the little excess tip of your bag. Get some scissors, and then we'll cut off that excess. So now, that is now open for our icing to go through, hopefully. All right, so I'm gonna take this. I think I'm gonna kinda like fold it down. That way I can really get the icing done in there. Just gonna sit that down in there for me for a minute. So it kind of holds it for me. All right, sit that like in a cup or something. That way it holds it open and then get your, your spackling or whatever you're gonna use. Get that to go down in there. <laughs> okay, so now we got that. Get it back up right. You're gonna try to push all that through, push all that down. My thought is that we need something, cause see, it's so far down in there, we need something to be able to like take our caulking around, our spackling. So, I have these little craft floral balls, these little foam balls from Dollar Tree. Uh, this is a six piece, it's the quarter inch ones. So this right here. I think I'm gonna put that down in there. That way I can put my caulking around this. Hopefully. All right, I'm just gonna kinda like push that down in there. Yeah, see? That's in there, that's really good. Okay. All right, y'all, moment of truth. Let's try this. All right, I'm gonna go around the outer, like on the glass and kinda work my way up to the top. And we're gonna see how this works. All right, wanna make sure I have that down in there. Really good, air pockets. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness, it's working. Ooh, sort of, <laughs> sort of working. Okay. I kind of, oh my goodness, I'm shaking. All right, it's working. It's not the prettiest, but it's working. <laughs> yeah, it's not pretty, but hey, I can, hopefully I can fix it. But let's just keep going with this. All right, I'm squeezing and just going around like I'm making an ice cream cone. Kind of 
kind of doing my arm back and forth too to see if that kind of helps with the appearance of it. Whoop! <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at that! It is not pretty. All right, I'm gonna take the tip of this and see right, if I'm I just trying to fill in any little gaps that I have. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, this is still kind of like wet. I've got those little like confetti little um, sprinkle things from the Crafter Square section. A little sequence. Maybe like. Kind of tap that on there. Yeah, it doesn't just stick. So you kind of have to like sit it where you want it and then lightly just kind of like push it in. Just like a little. We'll tap. Okay, so I have a few little red on there. Let's try some blue. You kind of have to like plop it and then almost kind of give it like a light little tap. So now I'm gonna take it and just kind of do a light little tap. Just like that. It does not have to be perfect, you know? All right, so we got some little sprinkles going on here. I wanna add a little red one over here. Let's add, what else? So I got the toothpick stars and flags from Dollar Tree. Maybe push that in there. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, is that too close for you? Look at that right there. Okay, that's cute. What about um, straws? You got straws from Dollar Tree? I have not seen straws this year. I don't know, mine are from probably last year, two years ago. Right, I think I'm gonna take my two little straws right here. I don't need them very long. So I'm just gonna kinda cut them a little bit. I can use these for something else. Um, and I think I'm gonna cut it at Cut them at an angle, that way they'll kind of stab down in there. All right, so I'm gonna cut that one at an angle. And then I'll cut this one at an angle and kind of see. Let's try poking these little straws into here. See how I cut it at the angle so it made it into a point. That way it'll kind of like stab into that foam a little bit easier for us. Hopefully. Oh yeah. All right, so I got that down in there. I think I'm gonna make this one a little bit shorter. So let's cut that one too, a little bit shorter. And then stab this one down into there. I'm trying not to like hit our little frosting. Oh my goodness, look how cute that is. I love that. And if you wanted, you could have like a little bow or something around it. Tie like a cute little ribbon. Let's see what that would look like. So you don't want to do too much, but you know, I love a good bow. Once again, I'm trying not to hit that spackling, our little frosting. Oh my goodness. All right, what do we think about that right there? Let me know what you think about the bow. Is the bow a little too much or is it just right? But that is so cute. All right, I also have these little mini mason jars from Dollar Tree. This is the Crafter Square section. It comes just like this, and you get a two pack for $1.25. If you cannot find these, you could also use these mini cordial, those little plastic, these are plastic. This is like in the fancy kind of, um, like the fancy plastic section of Dollar Tree, like the party section. You get six of these, so you could use this, or these, or anything you want, really. They have a little lid, so it's up to you how you want to use it. Turn these off. I have found, if you, um, if you follow my Dollar Tree hauls, I have this beautiful glitter glue from the Crafter Square section. Look at that. Look at this beautiful blue. If you cannot find these at Dollar Tree, you could just use some red and blue paint.
All right, so when you take your little cap off, there's a little plastic thing right here. Just kind of pull that out. All right, if this is your first time, I craft as close to live as you can get without actually being live. So we're gonna try this and see if this works. All right, so I'm gonna take one of these little mason jars right here. And I'm gonna squeeze this down into here. I'm gonna shake that in there really good. Kind of tap that down. Kind of tap it on my hand. All right, I'm gonna put some more in here. Once again, tap it. All right, look at that right there. Look how, look at that. Look at that beautiful red, like, glitter to it. All right, so we got the red one. I'm going to do the exact same thing with this blue one. Just going to fill this up. This blue is beautiful. Look how cute. These are already looking right here. Now, now if you wanted, you could do these as if they're like little drinks. You could take one of those straws, put a straw down in here, and just kind of be done with it. I'm gonna try once again to kind of get this look. So, I'm gonna take some aluminum foil. Just rip off some full. You don't need a lot. You can probably even like rip this in half. I'm gonna wad this into a ball. So, like with this right here, we used the foam little ball. Okay, so these little foam floral balls are too big for this little cup. So that's gonna take this foil, kind of make another, like a smaller size. Let's see if I can fit that down into here. Just kind of push that down in there. All right, yep, see, just like that. I just kind of made a ball of the little foil and I shoved it down in there. I'm gonna take that same bag that we were working with, try to work, work everything down towards the bottom. All right, once again, I'm gonna go around the outer edge and work my way up. All right, I'm try to take this all the way around it. Just squeezing and trying to go in a circle. I'm kind of doing my hand back and forth just a little bit, almost like a little zigzag. Oh my goodness, look at that! All right, what can we add to this? Um. I guess we could do a little bit more of our little sprinkles. These little, little things. Once again, you have to like, some tweezers would be nice. We had some tweezers. Do you wanna kind of sit it and tap it? Just kind of drop it and then tap it. Dollar Tree, those little necklaces from Dollar Tree, all these stars, you could use some of these stars. Uh, let's try some of these silvers. I'm just gonna cut this off a little strand right here and take a couple little stars and try to add it to it. See what that looks like. Maybe add like a little silver one. Like a little silver star right there. Maybe like a little red and a, maybe like a red and a blue. Snap, take a little blue star, kind of poke it in up there. Get a little cute red one. Look at that. Look how cute that is right there. Oh, uh, once again, you can add a straw to it. Let's try the little red and white little straw. Cut that. Once again, I'm gonna cut that at an angle so it will stab into here really well. I'm gonna put a little thing of hot glue onto my straw. And then push that down in there. Oh my gosh. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I love it. That is so cute. I'm gonna add a couple little blue. 
I'm gonna look through these blue ones right here. Like I said, you kind of have to hit, land it right on there and then tap it in. All right, y'all, I love that. That is so cute. All right, once again, we'll take that foil, wrap it into a ball, roll it up into a ball. Yeah, you're just trying to like mold and shape it into a ball. All right, let's make get that to go down in here. All right, so we got that. Once again, I'm gonna take that same little piping bag. All right, push it all the way down in there. You don't want any air pockets. Right, and I kind of realized, don't just squeeze and go around in a circle. As you're squeezing, kind of go back forth a little bit with your frosting. <laughs> Smackling, whatever this is. All right, so I'm gonna start on that outer ring once again. Now I'm gonna take the tip of this and I'm just gonna kind of like dab it, kind of fill in any little bubbles that I have. All right, once again, I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue because it, um, the foam ball, you didn't need it, but with that aluminum foil, it doesn't really stab through as easy. So I'm just gonna put a little hot glue. this ribbon y'all this is from Dollar Tree um every once in a while you can find some really good ribbon at Dollar Tree it's blue with the little polka dots on it so let's make a cute little bow out of this okay I went ahead just really quick I just tied a little basic little bow just like tying your shoes I think I'm just gonna hot glue this onto our little mason jar and I'm gonna put hot glue on the back of my bow that way I have more control Right, so just a little thing of hot glue on there. And then I think I'm gonna put it like right, right there. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. I love that. Okay, the little bow definitely completed this. That's so cute. All right, let's do one on this one. We need red. I also have this little red and white, this little dash, little stitched ribbon. This is from Hobby Lobby. Use any ribbon that you have at home. Once again, I'm gonna put hot glue on the back of my little bow. That way I have more control where it's gonna go. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Look at that, look how cute. Oh my gosh, y'all, these turned out so cute. I love them and I am so happy with how they turned out. Like I've said before, and a lot of you know, <laughs> I'm doing this right now. As I'm filming it, I'm making it, and a lot of times I'm doing it for the first time. So I do, sometimes I get like so excited because it's turning out right, or it's so cute, <laughs> or sometimes it doesn't turn out at all. But these are adorable. Look how cute this is. I am so happy with how this turned out and the frosting. I am still trying to learn how to do that. Um, using the Dollar Tree stuff, that spackling, maybe I need to invest in like some better. I just try to do everything on a budget. You know, everybody can just run a Dollar Tree and grab. But I wanna do some like ice cream stuff for the summer. So I may have to get something else. But look how cute this is. Oh, everything right here is Dollar Tree. Cute. Oh, except for my ribbon. But you can use any ribbon that you have. And the little red and white gingham rib ribbon from Dollar Tree would be cute on this. Look at that. That's adorable. This is perfect tiered tray size. Love this. And these turned out even cuter than I thought. Look. <laughs> 
added the little ribbons, the little, the little bows to them, really completed it. Those are adorable. But I'm, seriously, as soon as I saw these two glitter, they're glitter glue, as soon as I saw these at Dollar Tree, I knew I wanted to craft somehow patriotic with these. And this red would be beautiful for Christmas, uh, Valentine's Day. Look at that. This blue is gorgeous. That's beautiful. <laughs> but I'm so happy with how these turned out. And like I said, none of my stores have patriotic straws this year. But they do have the red and white striped straws and the blue and white striped straws. So you could use those. So cute. Or also Walmart. Walmart has straws. Alright. <laughs> those are, to me, these are adorable. Let me know which one you think and which one is your favorite. Like, do you like this little one right here? Like the little Sunday? Or these little mini ones? These are so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love these. All right, but if you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button because it really does help. And let me know what you think. But that's it. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. I wanted to show you really quick everything on this chair tray. I mean, minus the Cracker Jacks. We made together. Of course, this was today's from today's video. Um, the little red one from today. And then this little marshmallow person. I love her. We did her and then like one with the um, red icing and a blue popsicle. And then back there is another little topper, but it looks like a little pie, like a little patriotic pie that we did together. I will link those videos down below for you, just in case you're interested. But look how cute this is. And this is just like kind of throwing it together really quick. It needs like still to be adjusted, but I love these. And I love to decorate with Cracker Jacks, y'all. Get you some Cracker Jacks from Dollar Tree. You get a three pack for $1.25. But look how cute. And let me show you really quick. Decorate like a tiered tray, um, or decorate whatever. This looks like a little pie. It's actually a little hat for our marshmallow people. Like, here's a little marshmallow person. Actually a little hat for them. See how cute that is, a little hat they wear. But if you don't wanna do that, you could use this as a little American pie to decorate with. I love it.